Hi, everybody. I'm going to talk a little bit about the one evaluation that you've read so far within chapter 16 called Movie Review the Circle. And it was written by William Thorne, who was a UCLA student and a reviewer, critic, and or editor, we don't know. But he wrote this for the Daily Bruin, which is UCLA's student newspaper. So I'm just going to go through the review and talk about what I think are some of the um, key points of this review that you can use in your own writing that you can emulate when you start to write your review, whether you're writing about a film or something else. So the review starts out with an interesting fact or sort of a startling statement that hooks us in. The circle imagines a world in which internet stardom is just a daily vlog away and giant tech companies battle governments over privacy issues. Sound familiar? So it ends those that little brief introduction with a question, which is an interesting way to hook us as well. Now, the thesis here is very broad and that's because this particular author is writing a newspaper column I'm going to tell you where I think the very specific thesis is, the kind that I want you to write, and the kind that I talked about in my PowerPoint on the four T's um, concerning thesis statement. Um, this particular thesis at the beginning is kind of two sentences. The latest offering from up-and-coming indie director James Ponsolt aims to be both a reflection on documenting one's life online and a warning against millennials' unchecked faith in tech giants, but the film falls short of being a well-rounded piece. That is a little bit broad. Um, you could say that last sentence about any film. Where I think the thesis actually comes is at the end of this piece. It actually seems to be the first sentence of the conclusion. The circle lurches from tense thriller to weepy family drama to savvy knowing comedy from scene to scene, leaving the audience wondering why it couldn't just settle for one of the above. That could have been a good thesis too. And this author chose to put that thesis at the end. I always want yours to be at the beginning. But again, this was written as a newspaper column. We do know that it's a mixed review. So there are some good points to the film and there are bad points. What this author starts out talking about is um, the characters and actually compares um, characters to some of the things they've done before and mentions other roles that they've been in, like Emma Watson, fresh off her all singing, all dancing performance in the Disney behemoth Beauty and the Beast. Here's who she plays. And then we get a little bit of a summary of the film, a little bit of character discussion as criteria, as well as plot, as the um, review goes on. And at paragraph five, which is near the bottom of page 203, uh, William Thorne writes, The Circle starts out as a promising and intriguing sci-fi thriller, exploring the pros and cons of having minute camouflaged cameras on every street corner. And there we get part of the review and we get evidence about the characters and the plot. However, um, later on page 204, we find out that the main part of the film that this author doesn't like and that prevents it from being a successful film is the tone. So before talking about what's bad about the film, the author does talk about what's good. Some parts of the plot are promising. The character's work is very good. So the acting. Um, some of the best moments in the movie occur when May volunteers to wear a tiny camera on her chest and document her every move. She, uh, May, is the Emma Watson character. Um, the character adopts a fake smile and exudes nauseating enthusiasm. 
echoing many of today's YouTube vloggers and providing a clear commentary on how online fame can come with a price. So the acting and the character um, consistency are very good. Yet, the film can't quite decide what it wants to be, is finally what William Thorne says. So even with all of that, there are plot holes, the tone is off, on page 205, the author writes, the film's tonal issues begin during a scene that critiques millennials' obsession with social media and their trademark fear of missing out. And that whole paragraph discusses how the tone is off. There are some laugh out loud funny moments. And then there are also very dramatic moments that make the com comedic moments seem tasteless, according to this reviewer. So ultimately, this is a mixed review leaning toward being bad because of the tone. He even says in the conclusion, the film only avoids rotten apple status because of the elements of clever commentary on modern day surveillance and because of the solid acting. So part of the commentary or theme, another criteria of film and acting is eventually what are the only things that suggest this film as um, worthy of being watched. Ultimately, it falls in the negative camp. Altogether, this review is very nicely written. It's a mixture of formal and informal. It uses um, excellent word choice and diction and sentence structure and moves through the criteria that this author thinks are important the criteria of acting, of theme, of plot, of um, character and dialogue and situations. And finally, tone and meaning. What was the whole film intended to be? So that's what this evaluation is about. And um, later you'll be reading another evaluation this coming week, and I'll talk more about that later. Bye-bye.